Hey there, welcome back to my channel, it's me the Mind Injector. In this video we are diving into the exciting world of finance and technology where one particular company is catching the spotlight. I'm talking about SoFi Technologies. It's been an eventful ride for this fintech player and we are here to unravel the story behind the numbers. So stick around because we are about to break down why SoFi stock might just be a gem in the making. Before we dive into this video guys, I've got some exciting news for you. I want to introduce you to Mumu Financial. If you open a brokerage account with Mumu and deposit at least $1 using the link in the description, you'll get a chance to draw a free stock worth up to $2000. But that's not all. If you make a net deposit of $100 or more, you'll receive not just one, but 5 free stocks worth up to $2000 each. Plus free premium courses to help you sharpen your investing skills. And if you're really serious about investing, you can deposit $1000 or more and get a whooping 15 free stocks, bringing your potential earnings to a staggering $30,000. So sign up for a Mumu brokerage account using the link in the description and start earning those free stocks. Now let's jump into the main content of this video. Let's kick things off with a recap of the roller coaster ride that was 2022. The stock market faced some tough times due to soaring interest rates. But guess what? The tides have turned in 2023 and investors are rejoicing. The Nasdaq Composite Index is leading the charge, surging by a whooping 31%. And you know what this means. The fintech sector is back in the game. But wait, there's more. Amid this market frenzy, one star has risen brighter than the rest. SoFi Technologies. This fintech powerhouse has not just kept up with the Nasdaq's performance, it has outshone it. With an impressive 88% surge in its stock this year, SoFi is making its mark. Though, it's worth noting that it's seen a slight 16% dip since the onset of August. But hey, don't hit that panic button just yet. There's a lot more to the story. Let's get into the nitty gritty of SoFi's recent stock movement. There's been a seesaw pattern with a surge after earnings followed by a retreat. But let's not be quick to judge. This price fluctuation doesn't necessarily signal a negative shift in the overall narrative. The short term might be uncertain, but the long term growth potential of this financial disruptor is what we should be keeping our eyes on. Now let's talk about some recent news that's been causing ripples in the market. SoFi's second quarter earnings release set the stage for excitement. A whooping 20% stock surge followed this announcement. The company achieved a record revenue of $498 million, a 37% year-over-year increase. But it doesn't stop there. Adjusted EBITDA skyrocketed by 248% to $77 million, and the net loss of $47.5 million halved compared to last year. Beyond the numbers, there's a compelling story behind SoFi. With over 584,000 new members added, totaling 6.2 million, the company's foundation revolves around affordable education. The resumption of student loan payments in October could further boost SoFi's profile, as consumers seek relief in these challenging times. Here's the juicy bit. SoFi is on the road to profitability, and the numbers back it up. Adjusted EBITDA growth of 278% to $77 million is a clear indicator. The financial services sector is showing positive signs too, with contribution loss drastically reduced. This points towards potential net profits in the near future. So where does this leave us as potential investors? While the market buzz is real, it's important to weigh the pros and cons. The boost from student loan refinance is undeniable, but the repayment challenges could pose risks. Valuation comes into play, with the price to sales ratio of 4.3 times. This is a significant jump from earlier this year, making valuation a key factor to consider. With all these pieces of the puzzle, where does SoFi's future potential stand? Management is bullish, affirming their progress towards net profitability by fourth quarter 2023. Despite the recent dip of over 8%, the stock is trading below 5 times trailing 12 months sales, a reasonable figure considering its growth trajectory. This is it for this video guys, thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below.